Welcome to Thought Leaders featuring interviews with some of the best minds in the industry. Today's special guest is popular platform speaker and best-selling author, Tom Hagna. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and talk show host. In this segment, we're talking about the happy factor in retirement, all from Tom's book and PBS special, Don't Worry, Retire Happy. Well, that's what I want to do. I don't want to worry and I want to retire happy and I want to know what the the, the factor is here because I'm wondering if there's a math to this. Well, you know, I do a lot of seminars around the country, and I always say, you know, do you want to, re- when you retire, do you want to be happy or unhappy? And they say happy, and I say, well, you really didn't sound like it. Do you want to be happy or unhappy? They go, happy. And then I say, well, you know, the Wall Street Journal discovered the secret. Take a look. The secret to a happier retirement is friends, neighbors, and a fixed annuity. See, the Wall Street Journal studied who are the happiest people in retirement. You know what they found? People surrounded by their friends, surrounded by their families, who had guaranteed paychecks every single month. I always tell people, think about it. Who are your happiest friends in retirement? It's your retired military, retired government, retired teacher, retired professor. It's people with pensions. Steve, it's been proven after study after study, people with pensions are happier in retirement than people who don't have pensions. And if you don't believe me, ask somebody with a pension, how happy would you be if your pension went away? Guess what? They wouldn't be very happy. Do you understand happiness and retirement is tied to almost 100% to income, guaranteed lifetime income, not assets. Think about some of the most miserable people you know. They're loaded. They got assets out out the wazoo, but they're losing money in the market, and they're losing money in gold, and they're losing money in oil, and they're losing money in Russia, and they're losing money in Greece, and they're losing money in China. They're miserable. People with assets in retirement tend to be miserable. You don't be happy in retirement with assets. Assets do not make you happy in retirement. What makes you happy in retirement is income, guaranteed lifetime income. Look, I know there's people who still don't believe me. Look what Time Magazine said. Then this was a study in Great Britain. Lifetime income stream key to retirement happiness. A new study in a land of grumps reveals that retirees with a guaranteed lifetime income stream can find true happiness. It went on to say securing at least a base level of lifetime income should be every retiree's priority at least if they wanna live happily ever after. Look, if you still don't believe me, when you get done watching this, I want you to Google Towers Watson and Annuities and Retirement Happiness. They wrote a whole white paper. You can download it for free. They studied all retirees, old retirees, young retirees, rich retirees, poor retirees. You know what they found, Steve? All retirees were happier if they had guaranteed lifetime income. That is amazing. And I'm thinking now that we have support by third party, like the Wall Street Journal, yeah. this should not be as hard to get your head around. No, and let me tell you a story about my own family. So I grew up in a small town in Minnesota, 2,500 people. Both my parents were teachers. If you know anything about teachers in small towns, they don't make much money, all right? Um, I had jobs. I had a paper route, I mowed lawns, I shoveled snow. If I want a new baseball glove, guess what? I bought it. If I wanted a new bicycle, guess what? I bought it. If I wanted to go to a Twins game or a North Stars game or a Vikings game or a Harlem Globetrotters game, guess what? I had to sell more subscriptions to the Minneapolis Star and Tribune. And I did. I earned all those trips, Steve. My parents didn't have a lot of money, but my parents had pensions. My wife's parents were business owners. They made a lot more money than my parents, but they didn't have any pensions. So fast forward 50 years. My parents are in their 80s. Her parents are in their 90s. Do you know not one time in my life, not once, have my parents expressed a concern about running out of money? They've got checks coming in every single month. They never worry about running out of money. Do you know every conversation with my wife's parents, they're running out of money. Well, they ran out of money. Do you know why? Because they plan to live to life expectancy, which at the time was age 76. She's now 92. He died a couple months ago at age 95. What's the difference between those two halves of my own family? One half had guaranteed paychecks for life and the other one did not. I cannot stress enough to every single person watching this that you secure guaranteed lifetime income for yourself and that you recommend it to your clients. Number one, for the ultimate success of the retirement. Number two, if you want to be happy in retirement. And number three, I'll give you a bonus if you want to live longer. Look, some people follow me on Facebook Mm -hmm. and LinkedIn, and if you don't, you might want to. I post a lot of any stuff on retirement income. I recently posted a free economic study. This was actually a University of Chicago study that looked at people who bought lifetime income annuities versus people who didn't. You know what they found? The people who bought lifetime income annuities lived longer than the people who didn't. Not an opinion, 
a mathematical, scientific, and economic fact. Now, I can't tell you that if you buy an annuity, you're gonna live longer because this was just one group of people that lived longer than another group. Not everybody in every group lived longer. And maybe these were healthier than normal or educated more, uh, and healthy and educated people buy more annuities and live longer than uneducated people and unhealthy people. But I gotta think there's something, Steve, to having that guaranteed paycheck every single month that you probably got a little less stress going on in your life than your next door neighbor who's worried about the markets or interest rates or oil prices. Well, when, when you think about this, as far as a guaranteed income, this is something you're doing for your retirement. Yes. Look, 100% of my new purchases are going for guaranteed lifetime income. I've figured this out, Steve. Retirement's not about assets. It's all about income, guaranteed lifetime income. And I'm loading up on as much income as I can get because my retirement is all about income. It's not about assets. Assets can make you miserable in retirement. It's income, lifetime income that'll make you happy. So the psychological profile of those who have guaranteed income for life helps some kind of longevity issue in their human physiology. I'm saying it possibly could, yes. There's trends. I, there, uh, the studies have shown it, that people who have guaranteed income live longer than people who don't. Well, for more information on how you can use the concept of the happy factor in retirement conversations with your prospects, just click on the landing page address in the video description. We'll be right back with more from Tom Hagman. This is your website. Few people visit, and if it isn't attracting new visitors, it's not doing its job. Now you can drive more visitors to your website through dynamic content and email marketing with Creative One's Social Media Elite. Capture quality leads faster and easier. Engage your visitors with informative articles and videos to boost your online credibility. Plus, stay connected with existing clients and earn more referrals. All content is customized for you. It's time to introduce your website to the world. Call your Creative One sales team at 800-992-2642 or visit us online at creativeone.com. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and talk show host. In this segment, we're talking about introducing long-term care conversations into your retirement discussions, all from Tom's book and PBS special, Don't Worry, Retire Happy. Well, you know, I have to say, Tom, long-term care, it's everybody talks about it. It's all over the magazine. There's so many ways to approach it. Let's get to the basics of long-term care. It says 70% of people over 65 will have some type of long-term care event. That's for sure. Yes. So we know that's going to happen. I don't want to, but people say, I saw the premiums. Or I saw the expense loads. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to, if I buy it, I'll wind up going to a nursing home for sure. Talk us through a little bit of long-term so, care. So, look, in my first book, Paychecks and Playchecks, uh, I, there's a chapter in there on long-term care, and it's called What's Your Plan? Because if you've ever heard me speak before, you know I brag about my plan. What's my plan? I never have to go to a nursing home ever. I get to stay in my house till the day I die. The nurse has to come to me. You know why? Because I've got a plan. I've got long-term care insurance with home health care. I get to stay in my house. So when people say to me, I don't want in that nursing home insurance, what I say is exactly, this is anti-nursing home insurance. Mm. This is stay-at-home insurance. This is stay-in-control insurance. When they say, oh, that long-term care insurance is too expensive, here's what I say. If you think long-term care insurance is expensive, you ought to try not having it. That'll wipe you out. Steve, I made my mm -hmm. parents buy long-term care insurance 16 years ago. They didn't want to. It's too expensive. We'll never need it. It's an insurance company ripoff. I heard all the excuses. I made them buy it. Do you know they're now both in assisted living? $10,000 a month, $10,000 a month. Did you know there were many years my dad never made $10,000 a year, $10,000 a month. I can't even imagine what their retirement would be without that long-term care plan. I have people say, oh, Tom, my wife will take care of me. I say, oh, really? Okay, sir, I need you to lay down right here. Now, ma'am, I need you to come over here and pick him up and carry him downstairs, put him in the car. They said, well, I can't do that. If you can't do that when you're 67, how the heck are you gonna do that when you're 87? That's long-term care. Oh, I love this one. Well, Tom, my long-term care plan's hanging the rack in my pickup truck. Hmm. Yeah, they got a gun rack and they're gonna kill themselves. Let me tell you what, the nursing homes are overflowing, literally overflowing with people who said they were gonna kill themselves. You know why? Because they all forget, <laughs> they all forget. Look, Steve, watching my own parents age mm -hmm. has changed my outlook on retirement. I am now gonna show you exactly how I'm retiring and why. You know, a lot of people think that when you retire, you're gonna have 30 or 40 years of golf, tennis, cruising, and line dancing. 
That's not true. You're gonna go through three distinct phases in your retirement. Let me show you what your retirement's really gonna look like. The first phase of your retirement is what I call the go-go years. Now the go-go years, you're playing golf, you're playing tennis, you're going on cruises, you're line dancing every day, it's happy hour somewhere, that's the go-go years. But make no mistake about it, the go-go years are gonna be followed by the slow-go years. Now the slow-go years, you can still do everything in the go-go, you just don't want to anymore. In fact, you don't wanna go downtown after 4.30 because dad can't see when it's dark out, that's the slow-go years. And then the slow-go years are gonna be followed by the no-go years. Now the no-go years are when you're probably not leaving the building till you're leaving the building, if you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So we got go-go, slow-go, no-go. Steve, here's what I found. The go-go years are all about income not assets, income. And 100% of my new purchases are going for income in my go-go years. Now I've set up my go-go years as age 60 to 80. You can pick your own. I pick 60 to 80 watching my own parents. And this is all about income. And so I'm loading up income. Now my income goes for the rest of my life, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not taking inflation protection on all of it. You know why? Because I don't want to necessarily have a bunch of money when I'm 117. I want to have a bunch of income between 60 and 80 when I can do something with it. But the slow go years are all about long term care. And if you don't have a plan for long term care, let me explain what's going to happen to you. Somewhere between slow go and no go, you're going to get wiped out because the rules say this you must spend all of your money down until you become destitute. You then go on welfare, it's called Medicaid. You, lose, you become a ward of the state. You lose control of which facility you're gonna be in. You lose control of who your roommate is, what kind of bed you're gonna have, what kind of room you're gonna have. Now, if that's your idea of, re of retirement, go ahead. That is not my idea of a mm -hmm. successful retirement. That's why I have a plan and I wanna stay in my house. And the no-go years are all about life insurance. Now people say, Tom, life insurance has nothing to do with retirement. I say life insurance has everything to do with retirement. It's a life insurance you bring into retirement that allows you to spend your money. See, one of the reasons why people are not enjoying their retirements is because in the back of their minds, they keep thinking they gotta leave some money to their kids. One of the first things we did when we set up our plan, we said, how much money do we wanna leave the kids? We wanna give them something, we don't wanna give them too much, we don't wanna give them too little. Well, we picked a number. And then for pennies on the dollar, we bought life insurance to go to the kids. What does that free us up to do with all of our rest of our money? Mm -hmm. We can spend it. Mm -hmm. And we got a plan for long-term care. So this is all about income, this is all about long-term care, this is all about life insurance. See, the odds of your house burning down mm -hmm. between now and the day you die are less than three out of 100, you got homeowner's insurance. The odds of you totaling your car between now and the day you die are less than 18 out of 100, you all got automobile insurance. But the odds of you needing long-term care between now and the day you die are 72 out of 100, and most of the people watching today do not have a plan. Mm -hmm. If that's you, would you get that plan? You gotta get that plan. You're really buying future dollars to take care of yourself. Yes, and as we talked about, you can either buy long-term care insurance, or you can buy a life insurance with a long-term care bucket, or you can buy an annuity that springs up with a bunch of money for long-term mm -hmm. care. Any plan is better than no plan, but you gotta have a plan. All right, but before we close out the segment, when we're looking at long-term care, you said in another segment that we did, you said one of the big multipliers of any risk in retirement is gonna be longevity. Right. So. The longer we live, the odds are so high that we're going to have, at the minimum, assisted living at home. This is why it's so important. you got to have a plan. Because the longer you live, the more likely you're going to need long-term care. If you live to be 90 or 100, you're going to need long-term care. you got to have a plan. you got to have a plan. Well, for more information on how you can use long-term care in your conversations with clients and prospects, just click on the landing page address in the video description. And for more information on all our shows, seminars, and workshops, don't forget you can follow and find all that information out on our social media and our website. I'm Steve Savant. We'll see you next time on Thought Leaders. And remember, keep thinking outside the box.